and I know where we're supposed to go. Yeah, see, see these tracks? These lead to the sand crawler, which is where we're supposed to go to find R2. But if we don't find Ben Kenobi before we go to find R2, then we're screwed. You can also speed up using the B button, but you run the risk of doing that and screwing yourself. Because you can't really see where you're going because it's top down. So, the only thing I can think of right now is just go around until we find that really, really wide cave. Because I remember it just being wider than any of the caves that we've been in so far. Like, oh god. I hate how it turns as well. Because if you try to turn, you're gonna go around at a curve instead of just changing directions. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. As much as I'm complaining, I really do like this game, because it did fill many an hour, along with Oracle of Seasons and other games that I had for the Game Boy Color. Like, look at it, it's not even... What is that? There's no way to avoid that. It's just like, search and seek and destroy mine or something. I can't... I can't make it through gaps like that, which I clearly should be able to, but whatever. Is it you? No, this is where we started, isn't it? Yeah, this is the same exact place we started. You can't also just leave caves by going out the entrance, which comes in handy. <laughs> Especially if you've gone into a cave where you know that there's absolutely no point of you actually even trying that cave, which there are a few. There are more than a few. It's not you, we were just here. Oh. I'm tempted to go back in there and try that other route that I was like, oh wait, this is how you get to Ben Kenobi, but... I'm pretty sure you don't get to Ben Kenobi that way. Get out of- you goddamn motherfucker. <sighs> I don't even care that I'm swearing at this point. Like, I try not to swear. Like, I know many people have said that I'm not gonna swear, like... Splitable Infinitive, Pyro Dragon, and now they they end up swearing up a storm like a sa- like... <laughs> Like, uh, Spongebob and Patrick learning their first swear word. No. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> oh, they're gonna hate me for that. No, I... This this game is the frustration. All... This, this is all the frustration that I have boiled up, or not boiled up, bottled up from childhood. So I'm gonna let it out. I don't care anymore. Not today. Not on May the 4th. This is a holiday. I can do what I want. Like, we haven't even left Tatooine yet. I'm tempted to just... be like, screw it, and go on without Ben Kenobi, but if you don't... if you don't get the lightsaber in Ben Kenobi, you're screwed later on in the game. So I'm not gonna do that. Like, you really are screwed. I don't, as far as I know, there's no way to beat the beast in the... Oh, this might be it. As far as I know, I know, there's no other way to beat the beast in the... Uh, flippin', floppin', what you call it. Yeah, we can hit you from here, cool. Okay, I think this is it, because you want to find a cave that's just full of sand people. Kind of like the movie where Ben Kenobi saves Luke from the Sand People. Uh, but you can't actually beat the beast in the trash compactor without the lightsaber, to, as far as I know. And you actually need Ben Kenobi for something as well, and if you don't find him... Well, obviously you can't do anything with him. Oh man, it's so nice to actually play this on a keyboard though, because it was a lot harder on a Game Boy, because you could, just couldn't press the, you couldn't press the buttons as fast as on a Game Boy as on a PC. There's a weird white dot on the edge of the screen that I'm like, wait a minute, is that an item? But no. 
Like, watch, watch. I wouldn't be able to get that many hits in on a Game Boy. I'd be, I'd be doing like one, two for like an hour before I even just trying to even do some damage to him. I do like that uh, there is ac Luke actually has acceleration to his running. Like he doesn't just run at the same speed, so it doesn't look like those uh, the sand people are actually going to catch him. Like he actually does speed up. Oh, yes. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. So there's an exit here, but I'm not taking it, because I believe this is the cave where Ben Kenobi is. And in order to get him, we need to go further into the cave, which means we need to fight more sand people. But it's nice to have that health pick up, because it makes... Well, if we got hit, it would have made things easier. Obviously, we didn't get hit. But... Well, we did by that last guy, but that was my own damn fault. Just a... <laughs> That's just for our freaking shield. God damn it. The shields are completely useless. Ugh. First of all, I doubt I could even get through them with the maximum amount of shield. The, through the, uh... Flippin' floppin'. Uh, I, I doubt I could actually get through the asteroid field with the maximum amount of shields. Beyond that... See, it just takes... It just pays to take your time until you run into one of those mines. But, um, beyond that, you can actually just... Son of a bitch. And that's how you get to, uh... This is actually how you get to Moss Eisley down this way, but we can't go there without, uh, friggin... Fraggin... R2-D2. God damn it. We're gonna die again. Like, we're gonna die again. Where the hell is that frickin... God damn... Piece of crap... Cave. <sighs> Committed suicide, I don't care. You know what, one second, guys. I need to find out where this cave is. I'm looking up a map, because this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missions. One. Tatooine Desert. <sighs> okay. So, let's see. Then below you, you'll find a rock. This is from the first cave that we were in. That divides the path in two. The left path goes to a cave by moving left down. The right path will take you to the entrance of a cave full of sand people and moving to Moss Eisley entrance in a cave more to the right. At the very top left corner of the desert, you'll find a sand crawler. Get in and find two D R2-D2. In the desert, out of the sand crawler, move more to the right to find more caves. Remember to be on top. You'll find Obi-Wan in a cave near the top right corner of the desert. We were there already. What the hell? Okay, you know what? Let's go to the top right corner of the desert. As far to the top as we can go. So I thought that other place was where we were going to find Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, god damn it. Ran into another enemy. Okay, that's why I was thinking, oh, it must be near these dewbacks, because I remember the two dewbacks. Alright, so, yeah, this is the cave, because I remember it almost being the width of the entire frickin' frackin' screen. Now, the thing with this cave is it's full of flying insects, and these things are almost as bad as the Gorgon heads from frickin' 
Um, or not the the Medusa heads from freaking Castlevania. One second, guys. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, these guys are just as bad as the Medusa heads from Castlevania. Oh yeah, small health pickup, I forgot about that. They're actually a little easier because you can actually do more than one hit, so you don't have to time your shots as much. But they come from everywhere, they don't have a set pattern, they just follow you. So you saw earlier there was one that was actually trying to come at me from below. Like this guy. And it just gets annoying because you gotta do this, you gotta do these fancy acrobatics to try to get around them. And fortunately, he only does like one bar of damage, but still, it's just something you could do without, you know? Just an annoyingness that didn't have to be in the game. Oh, yeah, be careful because sometimes if you jump too high, you will hit stalactites and they will actually stop you. They are not in the background, they are in the foreground. And they will actually hit you and stop your momentum, and you will fall. And if you're trying to actually jump anywhere, that, that's, that's, it becomes pretty terrible. Because then you have to worry about, um... There we go, that's where you stop. You're not even gonna shoot anything at us. Because then you have to worry about falling and not dying, as well as falling damage. Alright. Oh, yes. I'm trying to remember. So we need to jump across these, I believe. We don't want to jump at the bottom. Yep, see? Oh, thank god. It's not short enough that we're gonna take falling damage. It's just these platforms as well. You need to make really precise jumps, because if you jump too early, you're not gonna make it. Oh my god, there he is, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna shoot you until you don't die, because we actually need to bring you with us. I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have it when you were older. It's your father's lightsaber. <laughs> you must learn the ways of the Force if you are to come with me to Alderaan. I don't have a voice to give him, because I can't do an Obi-Wan impression. So I'm just gonna give him whatever voice. So we now have a lightsaber. Thank you. Very... Oh, excuse me. Very much, you rat bastard Obi-Wan. Now we can actually make our way to the frickin' frackin' sand crawler and try to do this crap. Okay. No, 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 go the other way, Luke. I like how even though you've picked up Obi-Wan, you still only have one person in your land speeder. <laughs> Alright, so it should just be right over here. There we go. There we go, making making progress. My scanners show that R2-D2 is located in the sand crawler. <laughs> okay, so... Now we have to deal with Jawas for some reason, even though you'd think they would be, you know, peaceful or something. And for some reason they can't walk past these gears. Like, it's not its not that their walking pattern ends here. He can't walk past those gears, because we're going to see people later on that have much longer walking patterns, but still can't walk past these gears. By the way, don't touch these things at all. You can't even walk up to the side of them, they'll hurt you for some god-awful reason. Like, see here? He can't walk past the gears. Like, but he can walk past this gear. I don't know why. It's just weird. Alright. Watch out for this. If you do not... That... You fall. <laughs> that That is for some reason a gap, even though you're moving... You should be moving behind the pillar or something. I, I don't know why. It's... The designs of these levels just really don't make sense. Um, what we oh crap! What we actually want to do is we don't want to go up that uh, arrow thing pointing up because that actually just is an elevator of some sort. <laughs> I don't really understand what kind of elevator. It's cheaply made one. Yeah, that's what we want to do because we want to go over here 